Well, tonight the Indianapolis Motor Speedway is marking its own loss. The scoring pylon and the IMS Plaza video board lit up with tributes to Bobby Unser. Unser is part of an exclusive club, being one of just 10 drivers to win the Indy 500 at least three times. I want to turn now to sports director Anthony Calhoun for a look back at the racing icon's life. Yes, definitely a sad day in the racing world today. Good evening to you. Three-time Indy 500 winner Bobby Unser uh, passed away at the age of 87. Unser was part of an elite company at IMS, one of 10 drivers to win the Indy 500 three or more times. And along with Rick Mears, one of only two drivers to win the race in three different decades. Unser, uh, the brother of Al Unser and the father of Robbie Unser, uh, first entered the Indianapolis 500 in 1960. He won the Indy 568, 75, and 1981. He was one of six members of the Unser family to race in the Indianapolis 500. Bobby and his brother Al are the only brothers to win the race. Unser passed away at his home in New Mexico. I connected with his nephew, two-time Indy 500 champion Al Unser Jr. about the passing of his uncle. He is what I strive to to want to be like. He was my example, and I tried to, um, in everything in life. I went to Bobby for the last uh, two or three years. All he did was live for the month of May, and uh, and so, you know, he, uh, he made it to the month of May, even his final year, and, uh, and I'm sure that uh, he had a smile on his face when uh, when he passed. Al went on to tell me that it's hard to, you know, to put into words of the impact his uncle had on him and his career, but he did say that he tried to take the best of his uncle and the best of his father and combine the two when it came to goals for him as a race car driver. We'll have much more of the story coming up tonight at 6. All right, AC, thank you. Retired track historian Donald Davison remembers Bobby Unser well and had high praise for him when we talked with him this afternoon. Listen. Bobby Unser was just one of the great iconic drivers of all time. He's on the Indianapolis Motor Speedway uh, Mount Rushmore. Three-time winner, but more than that, one of just one of the great characters. Uh, very out there, very um, outspoken but terrific with the fans, and uh, you just always could be assured that um, whenever Bobby Unser went out to qualify, it was just 100% effort, and uh, just part of that great family, the, the Unser dynasty, and uh, just truly one of the greats of all time. Roger Penske says there simply is no one quite like Unser. He said Bobby was a ferocious competitor on the track, and his larger-than-life personality made him one of the most beloved and unique racers we have ever seen. Beyond his many wins and accomplishments, Bobby was a true racer that raised the performance of everyone around him. From Governor Eric Holcomb, the Unser name is synonymous with racing. He said this today. Indiana's loved, Indiana rather loved watching him race and be a part of the largest single day sporting event. He gave us some special moments at the Indianapolis 500. Our thoughts and prayers are with the Unser family today as they grieve the loss of an incredible man. Bobby Unser was an old school driver. He started out in the days of the old front engine cars. We were fortunate enough to have him in our studio several years ago where he talked about that with uh, Mike Ahern one on one. You are one of the few drivers to drive both the rear engine and the front engine car. Um, roadsters, yeah, right. the roadsters. Yeah, the roadsters. Mm -hmm. uh, what did you enjoy the best, the most? Well, for sure, the rear engine car. <laughs> yeah. the roadsters were mean. I mean, they were tough to drive, and the tires were only that wide. Yeah. I mean, come on, they were no good. It was really, really, really bad, dangerous, any way you wanted to turn and, and the old video that you see now, the black and white video, is drivers fighting that wheel oh. all the time. They, they barely move it now. That big <laughs> steering wheel in those days. Boy. Yeah, I know. I mean, I was laboring getting, getting through those turns. These guys today couldn't handle it. You don't I mean, so? I'd get blisters on my hand every day I'd run those cars. Yeah. Today, these guys don't even get a sweat, much less blisters, you know. 
I love that. You can see the entire interview Mike did with Bobby Unser on our website, wishtv.com. Hear Bobby talk about how he got started in racing, his three Indy 500 wins, and what led to a feud with Mario Andretti.